For today's comparison, the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now let's begin. So for screen type, you have the better AMOLED 2X. That's better than the Super Retina. Trust me, it is. Refresh rate, both are 120 Hz, even though the Samsung S22 is brighter, with 1750 nits. Pixel density, that's like with 42 more, 5000 ppi, super bright. And the resolution, wow, Samsung 2K resolution. Screen size, not much of a difference, 0.1 inches, not much of a difference really. And protection, you have the ceramic glass in the iPhone, but the Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, that's super strong. So Samsung has a better screen, now for the performance. Processor, 3.1 GHz, uh, not much of a difference. Chipset, the Apple A14, uh, you think is that the core, that's the reason why it's the chipset is better. The GPU, the Adreno 750 in the Samsung, is no comparison to the Apple GPU, it's better. System both are 5G, but the iOS is super security, stronger than Android. The battery, both will last the same, even though the Samsung is bigger, 5000 million battery, the iPhone will still last the same period. Fast charging, both will charge within an hour, even though the Samsung has a higher wattage at 45 watt. The better performance go to the iPhone, now for the camera. So the main lens are the 12 megapixel in the iPhone, while a 108 megapixel in the Samsung. Both use a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, both capable of a telephoto. The Samsung has a better rear camera. But for video recording, the Samsung cable will do 8K at 24 frames per second, while its iPhone only can do 4K at 60 frames per second. The front selfie camera, Samsung again with a 40 megapixel. It's better in low light also. The selfie video, both can only do 60 frames per second, 4K. So the better camera go to the Samsung. Now for the storage. Sorry guys, no memory card supported. I'm not sure why these high-end devices don't use memory card. UFS, yes, yes, yes. 3.1 is way faster. RAM, same with DDR5, 12 gb of RAM in the Samsung. Come on, iPhone, 6 gb DDR4, that's slow. Storage, one terabyte again in the Samsung, that's a lot compared with 512 in the iPhone. So the better storage go to the Samsung S22 Ultra. Now for the features. Weight, surprisingly, both have the same weight of 228 grams. Water resistance, both can be underwater for 1.5 meters, IP68. Headphone jack, they are not supported, but you can use the adapter in both device to connect your earphone. Radio, they are not supported, not compatible. Maybe in USA it can, I'm not sure, but maybe, I think so. And NFC, yes, they are. Some of you don't know what NFC is, next video, I'll tell you what it is, but you can make payment with those. Fingerprint, both device has facial recognition. And for Bluetooth, the Samsung is faster with a 5.2, while the Samsung only 5.0. So the better features go to the Samsung S22 Ultra. Now for the results. So the pricing for the iPhone is a bit cheaper, $200 cheaper than the Samsung. So even though the iPhone has a better performance, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra comes out with a win with a better screen, better camera, faster storage, and better features. Comment below which video you want me to do next. See you in the next video guys.